What's going on YouTube? Josh here, back at it again with the daily video. As promised, we're doing the Let's Make a Giphy. And when I was making, when I was making the Giphy replica, um, I, I was like thinking the entire time, it shouldn't have taken me this long to make this because I've been doing this job for a few years now. And uh, you know, it was good though. It was a good refresher. It was good and now I think that I can teach it a lot better because of that. And that's why I didn't get a chance to put it out last night. So, I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming on my desktop for this video, which means I'm gonna be using this desktop microphone here, but this desktop microphone is actively dying on me because of this cord. So, I'm gonna unbox this new microphone that they sent me in the mail, because uh, I've never made an unboxing before, and then I'm gonna test this out for half the video, and there's other one for other half of the video, and you guys can just tell me which one you think is higher quality. All right, let me show you what we're making. This is what you're looking at is what we're making, except it's a lot, a lot simpler. So we have this search bar and we have this search button and you type in what you want in the search bar and then you click search and then you get some gifts. You get some, you get 30 dog gifts. We're gonna use some boilerplate for this. Go to boilerplate, HTML5 boilerplate.com is where we're going. Go ahead, click download on the big button that you see there. It gives you a zip file. Open up the zip file. And I'm gonna make a folder on my desktop. And control A everything in here. Drag it to your folder on your desktop. Drag the index to your desktop. And you can see, hello world, HTML5 boilerplate, great. Now I'm gonna use Sublime for my text editor here. I'm gonna close the original one. I'm gonna close Giphy for now. All right, we have this. Let's go to our index file here, index.html. You can see, because this is boilerplate, what boilerplate is just gives you kind of like a, a pre-made setup. It comes with modernizer.js. It comes with jQuery, which is the main thing we're gonna be using here. It comes with a main JS file. This is where we're gonna do our actual code. And it comes with a plugins JS, which I don't actually know. Main JS is empty. That's where we'll be doing our actual code. But first we need to kind of uh, create the page. So let's come up here to our body. Let's delete this here. Let's make a div. So we have our div. Let's give it a class. Um, enter. So we're gonna put all of our GIFs inside of this div here, which is, you know, a div is just a container um, if you're just following along. And then we need an input, which is the search field input let's give it an ID let's give it a placeholder um, and this is the text that sits inside the, the it, this is the text that sits inside the box before you actually type anything all right and then we'll also need a button so we've got the button there let's give it an ID let's call it uh, the search gifts button let's go to the Giphy API to see what we need to connect to their services so I'm gonna open up this Type in Giphy API. All right. Okay, so it's gonna ask me to log in here because you need, you need an API key and what that is a special key that they give you that gives you access to their API. Um, if you don't know what an API is, an API stands for Application Programming Interface. Basically, all that is is when someone makes an application, they make some website, they're basically coding in a way for you to connect to their services and use their services on your own page. That's, that's all an API is. Uh, it can get kind of confusing. Um, all right, anyways, back to it. So let's, let's log in or create an app. So let's click create an app. All right, so we're logged in now and I clicked create an app. And then you enter your app name, describe what it does, create a new app, and then it'll take you here to where you can see your, your apps, and it gives you an API key. And you're like, oh, what's, what's an API key? It's our, it's our special key um, that we're gonna use to say, hey, we're connecting to your service, and we'd like to get some data from you. So let's look at the docs. So we wanna see the documents that we need. This kind of uh, tells you what you need to do in order to connect to their services. And since I'm using JavaScript in this video, I'm gonna scroll down to the area where they have JavaScript. Okay, so it basically does it for you. If you wanna get some GIFs, you can copy this code and then paste it 
into yours. Okay, so I'm gonna save this because we've made all this here. I'm gonna go to the JavaScript file. So jQuery's are already in here, so we can use uh, jQuery in this file. I'm gonna paste that in here. Oops. So we got this, but we need to put our API key in this where it says your API key. So let's go back to here, go back to here. This is our API key. Copy it, paste it in there, your API key. And then you can see limit equals five. The maximum that they'll let you have without a production key is 30. So I'm gonna change five to be 30. So what we have here is called an Ajax request, and that means asynchronous JavaScript plus XML. Basically what that means is that you send a piece of code to another website, and you're like, hey, can I have this information from this exact spot, and here's my key that you gave me, and then you said I could get it. So that's what this is. This is using jQuery. So you're doing dollar sign get, because you want to get something from the website, and you're saying this is where I want to get it from, and then this key here is my special password that you said I could use to get those gifts. And with I want a limit of 30, which is the maximum that you're willing to give me. And so then, so this next part here is xhr.done, which is the promise, which basically means that after you say, hey, I'd like to get this information from you, can you please send it to me? It says, all right, once you're done, this is the data that I want. I don't usually like calling it data. I like calling it a response. So then you know you're getting a response. And the data that they give you is normally called data. So then to access stuff inside that object, it's data.data, .data, which can get confusing. So uh, I'll show you what I mean here. So let's save this. And then we have this. And then let's go here. And then let's just open this up. So we have a search button. Because we didn't put any text in it. Let me, let me go back and put some text in it real quick. <clears throat> What we're doing here is we're console logging success. Okay, we got the data, and then here's here's the actual data. So if we go here, oh, oh, we can see that it gave us some data back, and it gave us 30 pieces of it. So we go data, and then we can see everything we need to inside of this. So we got 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 30. So it starts at 0, ends at 30, or 29, which is a total of 30. And then inside of each one of these, you can get the pieces of information that you want. We need to loop through this data that it's giving us back and we need to print each GIF on the screen. And in order to do that, we want to create a for in loop. So I'm gonna create a variable. I'm gonna call it GIFs for fun. Response.data, so response.data. So we're getting this thing called response, as I'm calling it this, and we're doing dot data. So we're accessing the first thing inside of that object. So we're doing response, which is what I'm calling this object, and then we're doing dot data. Okay, so now we're inside of the dot data. So response is object, dot data, okay, now we're inside of data. Now there's 30 different things inside of this object of that variable set. Let's come down here and let's do a for in loop here, and we're gonna do it for i in gifs, and then have our brackets there. Here's a little bit of jQuery here, um, so dollar sign, and then quotes, and we want to grab the div container that we made earlier, which we called inner, and we want to append, so dot append, these are pre-built jQuery commands. So we go here, and then we want to append image tags inside of that container that we made. Um, so image, source, because we're gonna put the URL that we got from our object in here. So equals, and then, great. So now we need to access the URL that we want to put in the image source. So what this is gonna do is gonna loop through, every single one of these is gonna be like, all right, we're gonna to go to zero, and then we're gonna pin an image to the div that we made earlier, and we need to put the source. And so to find the source, you need to dive into it a little bit. So we would go to, let's see, I don't see any URL. So we'd go to images, and then maybe we go to original, and then URL. So in order to access that three levels down, 
we need to go three levels down. So it would be this works is because you have to escape you have to escape the strings. It won't work if you're using single quotes like I just had. So we're going for i and gif. So for every every single piece of that object, so zero, one, two, three, four, blah blah blah. We want to access dot images and then we want to access dot the original and then I think it was URL. Right. So then um, I made some inline styles here. Uh, typically bad practice. You don't want to do inline styles, but we're going to say styling for another video. Um, so right now it's searching for Ryan Gosling. We can see search question mark Q equals Ryan Gosling. So this is what is actually being searched by default. So let's just save the page, make sure this works here. Come over here, fresh. Unexpected syntax error. I fixed the syntax here. What was happening is was uh, that the code was outside of the promise, and what I needed to do is put it back inside of it. So um, I basically just expanded that out. So we have the promise, and then we're console logging it, and then I'm setting the response to a variable here, and I'm setting that to response.data, which again is response. So that's this whole thing dot data so now we're inside of the data and then we're looping through each one of these 0 all the way to 29 and then we're appending images inside of the div that we made over here in the index so uh, where did where did I do that here if I go back you can see that when I refresh the page a bunch of gifs of Good old Ryan Gosling comes up. Okay, so let's continue. Um, so right now, this basically happens when you refresh the page. We're not giving it any command. We're not telling it what to search. When we click this button, nothing happens. We type it in, nothing happens. We're not, we're not connected. This isn't connected to anything, so it doesn't do anything. We have to connect this search box, and then we have to make this button fire off that request to say, hey, we want some gifts of whatever we're searching. Please give it to us. So in order to do that, we need to put everything that we've done so far inside of a function so it just doesn't, doesn't run by itself. We don't want this function to just run automatically, which is what it's doing right now when it loads the page. So function get data, data, data. Let's put everything that we've done so far inside of this. All right, so now it's not gonna, it's not gonna fire off by itself. And then we need to, we need to capture whatever the person is saying inside the search box. So we need to be able to be like, if he's typing in dog, we need to, you know, we need to be able to grab that data dog. So to do that, we're going to use jQuery again. We're going to do input. We're going to make a variable called input. This is going to be what the user types in. And uh, you have to grab that field. So in order to do that, you need to put a dollar sign, double quotes, and then I believe I set it to an ID. So ID is hashtag, and then I called it search text dot val, which means get the value. So these are all pre-made things. So search text dot value. And then over here on the button, we want to make an on click. We want to make this function fire on click. So we take this function, copy that piece of it. And then HTML has this thing called on click. And then just put that in, get data. Let me refresh the page again. So we can see there's no data in here. No data. And then if I type what I want in here, let's type dog. It says text, but I mean, it's a search. And then boom, pops up with dog gifs. The maximum you can get is 30, and I styled them to be 350 pixels by 350 pixels. And that's pretty much how you do it. That's it. That's how you make Giphy. Uh, at least that's how you request gifs from Giphy using, uh, using their API. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm gonna hop back out in front of the camera here. So that's how you make Giphy. It's actually not that hard when you use their API. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how we take all that code and we push it up to the code cloud or GitHub. We're gonna use version control. We're gonna use Git. We're gonna talk about how to use that. In the video after that, we're gonna do styling. And uh, I think it'd be really cool if we made like the images parallax and they just kind of like scroll behind. I don't know, it's gonna, it's gonna be super cool. Um, I know I, kind of said that I would use this in half the video, but let me just play an audio clip of me using this at the very end, and you can see why that uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't use it. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long because ain't nobody got 
45 minutes to watch a YouTube video on how to code. So, you know, it's short, it's simple. Uh, I'm sure you guys will probably have questions. If you do, leave them in the comments down below. You can email me, join the Discord. Link is in the description. We're always hanging out. I'm always there chatting it up every day. And if you want to see more of these videos, be sure to hit that little subscribe button, hit the bell, make sure you get the alert. Shout out to everyone who showed up tonight for my very first stream, even though I didn't have no idea what I was doing. I'm just ranting now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah.